Hi and welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris and today we're going to do something a little bit uh, unusual in the sense that we're going to download Fusion 360, uh, install it on a desktop, have a little look around and do some evaluation uh, on the product. So Fusion 360, uh, we go to Autodesk and we're going to download a free trial of Fusion 360? No, I don't think so. What we're going to do is we're going to download um, the, they, they've got a facility for personal use, meaning instead of getting it for a few weeks, we get it permanently, uh, but it will have reduced function. So <laughs> here we go, Fusion 360 for personal use. As you can see, just on the way it's spread out. Some of the facilities uh, have limited function, uh, but you have got 3D design and 3D modeling, and then there's a few bits and pieces you won't be able to use. But it's a brilliant opportunity to evaluate the software in your own time without being pushed with a monthly trial. So it's a great starting point. So let's get started. Uh, we need to sign in. So you might need to sign up with uh, AutoCAD or Autodesk uh, we're signed in, so uh, just a few more details here. It's pretty easy, um, pretty easy to <clears throat> sign up and download. And uh, as you can see, there's no, it's not rocket science. There's, there's not, uh, there's nothing too difficult uh, to get over here. So. Uh, Download, yes, click on there and we should see the download box come up. Here we go, if we click on that, it should start to download. And there you go. Now it's actually a four gig file. Um, so it actually takes maybe 15 minutes or so. So what I've done here is uh, I've speeded up the video a little. Um, make it look like I've got the fastest computer in the world and we're downloading four gig in, uh, you know, two minutes or one minute. Uh, so it's downloading as quick as we can, but um, as you can see, it's relatively simple. It's not rocket science for sure. Uh, but the idea of using the personal version is a great starting point. And of course, you go beyond that, then uh, you can go for the monthly trial with the full version and then go beyond that and you're into a subscription. Um, what, what I like about the personal version is it'll have all the videos for you to uh, learn and, um, you know, teach yourself. But here we go. Let's sign in. Um, <coughs> got a bit of cough this morning. Right, we're signing in to Fusion 360. Um, yes, they're going to send a verification email. That's fine. So you're going to have to have your emails open in the background, which I've dealt with. Um, verified. It's that simple. They'll send you an email. You click on the link. Uh, you go to product. Uh, so it's slow enough to open up and you know, get itself started or get itself working. But you got to remember, it's the first time opening on your computer. And uh, so it's going to th go through some preliminary checks and setting itself out. Uh, so it will be a little bit slow in the beginning, but, uh, yeah, it, you know, uh, when you go back to it the second time and repeat the process, it'll be easier. So it's offering me up, create a team. I think that's a good idea. Most of the projects we'd be creating would be as a team. It's also, uh, it's going to allow me to allow other users to log on. And what I liked about this one was uh, they have a facility where um, uh, other uh, email addresses with the same URL are able to uh, get access and sign on and join the team, uh, which is great because uh, you don't have to be, you know, managing or administering the uh, the, the program. So yeah, allow other members, uh, allow team members with the same URL um, to join uh, the team. Fantastic. More the merrier, that's what I say. So, <clears throat> I mean, the thing about Fusion 360, it's a team effort anyway. If you're working on design and manufacturing and for any company, it's not going to be a, a one man does it all. 
so uh, that's for sure. So I'm giving a little bit of feedback and info back to Autodesk uh, for the facility. It'll help them to build a better system, uh, build even better system, because it's already a pretty good system. All right, so we're getting there, and we're soon we're going to be open, and we we'll get a look at the, uh, the model space. Uh, so again, as I said, setting up first time, a few questions and answers. So take your time on this, so make sure you understand what you're doing, and uh, because it's the first time. So uh, take, as I say, take your time, and as I, again, I tell you, it's slow enough to open up. And once it's open. And then you expand your view um, <coughs> and uh, just have a little nosy around um, yeah so y y what do you know about fusion 360 when did that come out well I think it's been out since 2007 so it's uh, it's about 15 years out and obviously there's been some upgrades and so on but right now, so I'm into the uh, menu on the left hand side, drop down menu, because we've got loads of samples in here, as in I've opened a file. I'm sorry, I, I was, I, I should have been explaining that, but you'll see it again in a moment. So we open up sample files. They've got loads of sample files in here. And the idea is to give, just to give you an idea uh, of function and capability. And uh, clearly you can design any product on here. <clears throat> it's a it's a world-class piece of software so let's open up something else um, yeah, anything you want here let's see what we're going to what we're going to get okay um, this is the first time now for me as well because I haven't I, I've had a quick look but I haven't gone into it in detail so I'm learning the same as you so forgive me if I'm a little bit slow uh, on the uptake so the drop down menu uh, is showing all the components of this fidget spinner and uh, my, it's a simple enough project but at the end of the day <clears throat> it needs uh, design you're designing from scratch here so you start off with nothing and uh, it's amazing because I mean you're starting off with a blank page and you're going to create something and there has to be a process a kind of a, a format that you would do just like uh, I do architectural drawings there's always a f kind of a format that we stick to so let's have a look at the utility knife I'd be interested to see that and then we'll try and explore it in 3d yeah I mean that's pretty sharp that's pretty neat so again you know you design get the shapes look at it in every possible way um, <clears throat> what's not to like yeah uh, it's pretty impressive that, that, that's all I can say the idea that we can design in 3d um, like this <laughs> and then have it manufactured that's fantastic because uh, years ago, I mean, uh, this would only have been in large companies that have facilities like this, but ordinary people would never get an opportunity to see what, uh, the fun what, what kind of equipment people had or how they actually manufactured or how they designed. So, I mean, they're basically engineering tools. You design, you create. Um, so you can save a lot of time and money and get quality parts to the door faster. That's one of the things that they they promote. They say um, you can look at the you know the design of something and they look at cheaper ways of building it or cheaper ways of making it, quicker ways of making it. So you can explore all these options. So this is a basic table we're looking at. Again, we're moving it around a bit. So we're going to have a little look at. I think we. Uh, I mean, this looks like one of these cheap plastic barbecue tables that come from China. But uh, let's just have a look at, if we'll have a look at one of the elements here. Because on my left drop down, it's all of the, each element. And of course, each element has to be worked uh, in conjunction with the whole. So, uh, yeah, 
Um, um, so I haven't got a clue how to use a software, just uh, making sure you understand that. So I'm the same as uh, anyone that's just come in to look at 3D uh, modeling. So Fusion 360, uh, is it free? Well, it is and it isn't, meaning you can download the personal uh, version can't use it for uh, making money but you can download the person personal version and you have some function on it um, not complete function but the idea is you can really evaluate and learn within this um, version because you have access to all of the uh, tutorials so you can see at the top all the tabs for the files that I opened which is great as much uh, the same as a Google browser uh, Keep the tabs open that you want. So now we're going to have a little look on the right here. What I'm kind of looking for is uh, to see what's available as in teaching, because uh, that's, I mean, I mean, the idea you come in, you know, you can download your samples from the left. You can create a new file. You just draw something and then you explore. But that's all very well, but you'll soon get bored with that. So what you really need is, uh, uh, you know, a kind of a processed uh, learning system, as in breaking down the components and giving you some sort of idea as to functionality and how you uh, work those elements to create something. So uh, you're going to see it in a moment. So I'll get to the help menu. I'm just looking around at the moment. Um, so the help menu will be the, yeah, that'll be the one that will deliver us. Uh, I love the icons at the top. The colors are, the colors are great. Sizing is lovely. And uh, if you're like me and you're, you know, you're getting on a bit and you're using glasses, then uh, uh, all of the elements are still uh, pretty sharp here, which, which I like, all these icons. Um, right, so what are we doing now? We're over here having a little look. Uh, this is the one we're looking at help learning center now this is what i was on about so uh i'm gonna go to my learning and this is what again what i was on about how it's broken down into the processes and the learning center will take you through each process so i've started at the bottom uh, that's just me and again it's giving you a walkthrough as to how to use the elements, uh, which is quite lovely and uh, lots of info. And I think <clears throat> there's also, uh, I've, I've seen it at some point, I've seen where you can, uh, in, within the learning center, there's uh, loads of videos and they're all structured to learn. And they give you an, an indication as in, you know, if you're coming in and new, uh, you have to go through the process rather than just learning videos willy-nilly. You're going through a process, which means you're learning step by step. And that's fantastic because you basically build knowledge on existing knowledge and uh, you compound it. And at the end of the day, it should give you a very quick way of getting through the system. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm very impressed with the quality. It's a robust um, bit of software and it's very, it looks very stable. I, I rather like that. Um, so, um, what can I tell you? Manufacturing, electronics, collaboration, uh, generative design. Got a lot going for it. So, uh, is going back, is it free? Uh, yes and no, meaning have it for as long as you want uh, under personal use. Whilst, uh, certainly do that while you, whilst you're learning. You don't want to buy it and then just learn with it. Um, so I'd say that that's the way to go. Um, so right, session expired, closing down. Um, what can I say? Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you now know how to download Fusion 360, uh, get a free version. It's the free version. It's the free personal version. And it has limitations, but it will actually function. Um, and it gives you the opportunity to learn, which is what, what it's all about. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.